Hello YouTube, how you doing out there today? My name is Heath and this is Frontier Survival. We got another great episode coming your way, so stick with me. All right, thanks for sticking with me. And good day to you, and a good day indeed it is. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and we are out in the woods having fun. And with the trying times going on in the nation right now, it's good to be out in the woods. I am practicing my social distancing by being out here alone in the woods. But without no further ado, we'll go ahead and talk about today's video. And what I'm talking about is surviving with what you got. If you've got some type of gear already, why not use it? And what I'm talking about today is this right here, the Igloo Sportsman. And of course the name Igloo is synonymous with coolers, right? And that's exactly what this is. This is a cooler backpack to take your lunch to work or whatever. You keep your sandwiches in it, your drinks. But what I'm using it for is a day pack for day hikes. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got in here as far as being able to survive in the woods. Now starting off though, I want to go ahead and show you that I have on my side my old hickory butcher knife. And now with that said, we'll go ahead and check out what we got in here. And as speaking of redundancy, I got the old hickory, but I also have two more regular pocket knives here in this pocket right here. A little wooden handle buck and a tactical blade. Also in that pocket I have my knife sharpener. Now keep that all together. Right here on the side you got two pouches that you can keep water bottles in or a water container. Right here in the main pouch we'll go ahead and look at it and what I have in here is some cordage, my pocket saw, a good size flashlight, my fire kit, and in the fire kit I have petroleum jelly cotton balls, couple Bic lighters in this container right here. In this little container I keep about 10 books of matches. A piece of fat wood. Ah, love that resin smell. And my ferro rod inside this Ziploc bag. And last but not least, in the main pocket, is my first aid kit. Never go out in the woods by yourself or even with somebody else without a first aid kit. Even if it's just an ouchy boo-boo kit, because you never know when you might get a scratch from a briar or something. And a band-aid will always come in handy. Now we got this pocket right here, as you see. And in there I have pair of small binoculars, a little mini folding shovel, might want to dig out a root or something, and then some electrical tape, always comes in handy. Then go on down to this bottom pocket here, and all I have in here is a pair of work gloves, Had the flashlight in the main pocket, right? Well, here's my redundancy on those. Another small flashlight and a little headlamp. And also in this pocket, I have a poncho and an emergency space blanket. And then over here on the side, we have a little mesh pouch. And what I have here is an old onion sack that I use for foraging wild edibles. 
my emergency whistle with a compass and a thermometer. And last but not least, my lensatic compass. So there you have it. And you see, I have at least five C's of the 10 C's in that bag, being combustion, cutting tool, container, although not a stainless steel container, I have the water bottle, cover with the space blanket, and then cordage. So with that being said, like I said earlier, if you have something that you would like to utilize that you already have, go ahead and do it. You know, you'll always have time to purchase new things, but it's always good to survive with what you have. Now, with that being said, I'd like to go ahead and continue to tell everyone out there to like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out there to all the social media platforms you have, and go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I drop a new video. I want to take this time to thank the ones that have subscribed to me. You know, here in this last week, I've got up to 221 subscribers. On my Facebook page, I got over 400 followers. And, uh, you know, the channel's growing, I believe, slowly but surely. And I just want to continue making videos. Uh, it's springtime. We're going to go in the spring. The warm weather's coming. We're going to be doing some more videos uh, on a regular basis and you know it's just it's just going to be a good time I believe once all this clears up you know our nation everybody will be able to get out and do things and it'll be great but uh, just remember you got to have drive to survive this is frontier survival and I'll see you next time